If you already think that you know everything that your Samsung Galaxy phone can do, this video is for you because I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that a lot of people had no idea that you can do on your Galaxy phone. For example, did you know that if you go into your Edge panel settings, enable the Apps panel and then edit it and then add any app that you want to this Edge panel, then go back to your home screen, long press on it, select Settings and swipe down to Hide Apps on Home and App Screen. Then in here, find that very same application that you added to your apps panel and hide it from your home screen. And then go back to the edge panel settings, tap back to go to the main settings page, select handle and here just bring the transparency all the way up to 100 and bring the size and width all the way down and make sure you know where your edge panel is positioned because now what's going to happen is you're going to have an invisible edge panel that nobody will see but if you swipe from that area, you will see your hidden app right here. So now nobody will even know that you have this app installed on your phone but you will easily be able to access it from your invisible edge panel. All right, next in your phone settings, if you swipe down to safety and emergency down at the bottom, you'll see an option for unknown tracker alerts. And when you enable this, your phone will now be able to scan for nearby trackers that might have been planted on you. So if anybody put an air tag in your backpack or in your car, your phone will be able to identify them and alert you. All right, now if you have some pictures or videos in your gallery that you don't want anyone else to be able to see, there's a really cool way on your Galaxy phone to be able to hide them. And all you got to do is in your gallery, hit on the menu here, go to settings and swipe down to gallery labs and then enable this option for private album. And now just close out the gallery app to refresh it. And what you'll be able to do now is go into your gallery, select any pictures or videos that you don't want anyone to be able to see. Then tap more down here and you'll have an option to move it to the private album. And now it will take these pictures out of your main gallery, move it to the private album and nobody will be able to see them. And to access these pictures, all you need to do is just tap on the menu bar down here, select private album and authenticate with your fingerprint or face ID. And now you'll have access to your private album. Now here's a really convenient Galaxy setting that a lot of people just aren't using and it's the ability to do T9 dialing. So if you ever want to give anybody a call, instead of going into your contact list and searching for them, all you gotta do is start typing out the letters of their name, it will pop up in your dialer and you can give them a call from here. And if you don't have the contact saved but you remember a couple of the numbers from their phone number, you can type that out as well and it will go through your call history to match those numbers to a phone call that you've made or received before. Alright, next, if you go into your notification settings and select notification pop-up style there's an option here for lighting effect color by keyword where you can create custom animation colors depending on the notification or contact where you got the notification from so what you can do is type whatsapp in here and then create a custom color for this notification and what i like to do is set it to the color that matches the color of the application so whatsapp is green so i'll set this color to green and now anytime i get a message from whatsapp the notification animation on my display will be green so that i know that it came from whatsapp and what's cool is you can also set this up for individual contacts so just write your contact name in here add a specific color to that contact and then no matter which application they message you from whether it's whatsapp telegram or just a regular message the animation of your phone will match that exact color so that you know exactly who's messaging you. All right, now a problem that I have is I like to swipe all my notifications away and just keep my notification panel nice and clean. But sometimes I get a notification or maybe a message or a missed call that I just don't have time to get to right now. But if I swipe it away, I'm just going to completely forget about it. And if you're like me and you're just constantly getting in trouble because you keep swiping things away and forgetting about them, here's what you can do instead. Go back into your notification settings, select advanced settings and enable this option that says show snooze button. And now anytime you get a notification, instead of just swiping it away, you can snooze it and be reminded about it later. So just select a snooze duration for as long as you need. And then after that time passes, that notification will come back to you and hopefully you'll have time to get to it. All right, now on your Samsung Galaxy phone, you probably already know that if you go into your video settings, you can set your camera to 4K 60 FPS so that you can shoot slow motion in half the speed. But if you want to slow down your footage even more, more, did you know that you can tap on more and then select pro video and now in here you'll have an option to shoot in 4k 120 fps so now you'll be able to slow down your footage by four times and get that buttery smooth super slow motion footage now this next galaxy secret setting is pretty much in everybody's faces but a lot of people still don't know that they can do this and if you're a fan of live photos on iphones did you know that your Galaxy phone can also shoot live photos? And all you gotta do is open up your camera, go to the photo tab and just tap this button right here and you can see it says motion photo on. And now you'll be able to shoot live photos on your Samsung just like an iPhone. Now here's another underutilized Galaxy feature that's actually really convenient because if you're ever using your phone and you're really into something, maybe you're just scrolling through Reddit or reading something on a blog, but you keep having this back and forth conversation with somebody via messages and you don't want to keep having to exit the app that you're using in order to message this person 
person and you just keep going back and forth? Well, this is the perfect scenario to use that nifty Samsung feature called pop-up view. And all you need to do is anytime you get a notification or that person messages you, just tap and hold on that little pop-up and drag it to the center of your screen. And now it will open up in a pop-up view where you can message this person and interact with the messaging app while having your other application running in the background. And then when you've sent off your message, you can minimize this into a pop-up view and it will just float on top of the application that you're using without actually overlapping the app. So you can continue doing whatever it is that you're doing. And this just makes it much more convenient so you don't have to keep juggling between the two apps, but instead use them at the same same time. All right, next, if you long press on your home screen and then select wallpaper and style, tap change wallpapers and under the create with AI section, select photo ambient and then go through your gallery and select any photo that you want on your wallpaper. Now this might look like just any regular wallpaper, but what it will actually do is show you the current weather outside on top of your wallpaper. And actually while I was filming this, it was snowing outside. So it gave me this really beautiful snow effect on top of my lock screen, which just looks really awesome. And it definitely gives your lock screen a nice touch. All right, now, if you take a lot of screenshots and you send them off to people, there's a setting that you should enable that will make your screenshots look much cleaner. So go into your phone settings, swipe down to advanced features, select screenshots and screen recording and enable this toggle that says hide status and navigation bar. And now what's going to happen is anytime that you take a screenshot, it will ignore that status bar so that you're not going to see your Wi-Fi connection or battery or the time or any of the notifications that you have on your screenshot. All right, next, if you're ever taking a screen recording on your phone, did you know that you can tap up here to enable the front facing camera? So now if you're ever trying to explain what's happening on your screen to somebody, or maybe you're sending some kind of tutorial to your grandma, you can show your face while you're sharing your screen. And when you send this video file off to her, she'll be able to see your face at the same time as the screen recording. So you can explain things a little bit easier as you go along. All right, now here's a tip that everybody should know because if your Galaxy phone ever feels like it's just not working properly or some things are just malfunctioning, you can run your own diagnostics to check if all the hardware is working or not. In your phone settings, swipe down to device care, select diagnostics, and right here you'll see an option for phone diagnostics. And when you tap into here, you'll be able to test all of the hardware on your phone to see if everything is working properly. So you can check on things like your battery status, your Wi-Fi connection, any of your sensors, your microphone, your speaker, your camera, your fingerprint sensor, the S Pen, the wireless charging, and pretty much every aspect of your phone. So if anything is not working as it seems, you can go in here and run a diagnostic on your phone. And if you want, you can even just test everything and your phone will run through the full list of all of the things to make sure that everything is working properly. And while we're on the topic of making sure that our phones are running smoothly, there's one setting that I suggest that everybody enable just to make sure that everything is working properly. So back in your device care settings, go to auto optimize, select auto restart and enable this option that says restart when needed. And now what your phone will do is just restart whenever it needs to because your phone is kind of like a computer and just like a computer, sometimes things just stop working properly and a reboot will fix 99% of the problems. If you want, you can also restart it on a schedule and pick which days and what time you want your phone to reboot, but I just leave this off and let my phone figure it out on its own. All right, now here is another Galaxy setting that a lot of people don't know because it's kind of hidden and it's a little bit weird on how you got to turn it on, but it can improve the call quality of your phone. And to enable this, all you got to do is the next time that you're on a phone call, swipe down twice from the top, tap on mic mode and change it from standard to voice focused. And now what your phone will do is if there's any background noise going on around you. So if you're walking near a highway or a construction zone, all of that background noise will be suppressed and the phone will focus only on your voice so that the person that you're talking to will actually be able to hear you instead of all of that noise going on around you. All right, now, did you know that if you go into your phone's quick settings and enable your flashlight, you can then long press on it to change the intensity of the flashlight. So if you wanna make it brighter or dimmer, you can just drag the slider around to change the intensity. You can also long press on auto rotate. And then when you enable this feature, you'll have a couple more options down here. And if you select lock screen, your phone will now be able to rotate your lock screen as well. And what's nice about this is after you rotate your lock screen and you let your phone dim and the always on display turn on, it will go into the standby mode, kind of like you have on the iPhone. So you can put your phone up on a charger at night and have it display the time a little bit bigger for when you're sleeping. All right, now this next one is probably one of my all time favorite Samsung features, and it is incredibly useful. And it is the ability to manage your notification categories. So what you want to do first is go into your phone settings, go to notifications, select advanced settings, and then right here, you'll see an option that says manage notification categories for each app. And when you enable this, you will now be able to manage specific categories of notifications within a given app. So let me show you what I mean. So let's use Instagram as an example. Long press on the icon, select this little I button here, select notifications, and down here, tap notification categories. 
And now you'll see we have a complete list of all of the notification categories within the Instagram app. So if you don't want to get notified every time you get a like, or if you don't want those notifications about friends that you might find on Instagram, or you're tired of getting all of those marketing notifications about product announcements or shopping drops, you can go ahead and disable all of these things that you don't care about and only leave enabled the notifications that you do care about. And you can do this across any app, whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, doesn't matter. So just go through all of your apps, set these up, and you no longer have to worry about notifications that you don't care about. Another cool feature on Galaxy phones that a lot of people aren't using is the ability to create expanded folders. So you might already know that you can drag icons on top of each other to create folders, but then to access them, you need to actually go into the folder and tap on the icon. But what you can do instead is tap on the folder, select enlarge, and it will expand the folder. And now not only will you be able to fit more icons into these folders and on your home screen, but you can actually interact with them by just tapping on them directly in the folder without ever having to actually open the folder. All right, now here is a question that I get asked almost every single day on my YouTube channel, and it is how am I able to fit all of these icons down here on my favorites bar? Because by default, you can only fit up to five icons down here, but I've set my phone up to be able to fit up to nine applications down here in my favorites bar. And if you wanna know how to do that as well, be sure to watch this video right here. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.